Um, what would you What would you have said if one of your players had uh, come into the dressing room with a tattoo of an assault rifle on? I'd have said, "What you got that stupid thing on your leg for? What do you think you're doing? You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's What's all that about? Why have you got to put that on your leg? You know, it's it's crazy, really, isn't it? I mean, uh, you know, I know people say it's only a tattoo, is it? but what's you got, what you got that on your leg for, really? It, yeah. You know, guns. We're so much. We've got gun crime at the moment everywhere with kids. You know, it, it needs. You know, it's it's a major issue in this country at the moment. And yeah. to have that on his leg, I just did. That make sense to me. Well, Han, I've got to say, I mean, he's he's clearly, you know, in in the opinion of a lot of people, let himself down, and, and indeed because of of who he is and where he plays, he's let you know let the let his supporters down, let the kids down, indeed let the country down. Should further action be taken? Do you think? Well, I certainly think his manager and, you know, I think they need to talk to him and ask him exactly, you know, if if he's got any sense, he'll go and get it taken off today, wouldn't he? And just, yeah. you know, I mean, what, it, you know, surely he, he sees what's going on. I mean, he's a kid out of a working, you know, working class background. And I'm sure he's a good lad. But, you know, in the area that he comes from, you know, this gun crime is, is a big problem at the moment. So you, you think he'd, he'd want to get it. If he's got any brains, he'll get it off his leg as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's always a tricky one because people say, oh, your role models, you know, footballers are that, but your parents are really your role yeah. models. But there are kids that look at that and think it's cool. Think oh, it's cool, absolutely. You know, and that's your danger. You're, you are influencing the mind of young lads yeah. who think it's cool. I know, Tony, you mm. see the pictures of kids in the paper now, and after the time, there's, you know, a lot of these kids have got, they stood there like as though they've got a gun in their hand, making that pose like, you know, as though, I mean, I don't know what is it all about. I mean, it's, it's scary, isn't it? So, I mean, it's a massive problem at the moment, and uh, we don't need kids like him who are, you know, as you say, they're in the public eye, you know, sort of advertising the fact about guns. He shouldn't, it, it's a bad move on his part. <laughs> Whatever his justification is, he should have sought advice because of, of the implications of it. People are going to look at it, the people are going to judge. And as I've, as I've told you, a lady on Twitter who, had, who has lost his son to, to, to this type of violence was really, really livid. Actually, they said this, this kid should not be allowed to go and represent England at the World Cup unless he has taken that tattoo off or something. Wow. That was a caller from last night on Raheem Sterling, um, oh. who clearly has caused a little bit of outrage by getting a gun tattoo on his leg, Cash. Now, mm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a delicate situation, you know, as it has bodies and tell to do what he wants with it, but people are getting upset. What's your, well, I mean, what is your take on it? A little bit of, is it naivety, stupidity? Uh, uh, it's, Ali, look, you can understand people taking it in the offensive way. You can also understand that it's a young lad that's, you know, yeah, maybe made a, at a daft moment, you know, just done something. And like we said earlier, if you're going to do things when you're younger, you, you sometimes look back and you regret. And I think he's making an argument that he's done for a reason to do with his dad being shot when he was younger. I mean, I'm not sure I'd want to be doing that if, you know, that happened to my dad. Yeah. Um but I think he, he'll he learn, and I, hopefully he has to understand that, you know, when you're putting images of guns on your body, it's always going to be... People think you're going to represent yeah, gang culture. It's such a, that, that's your problem. Uh, yeah, it's such a controversial subject and topic. We're, jo we're joined now by football reporter, the Moose Ian Abrahams, for his cinemata. Good morning, Moose. How are you? First of all, Moose, you're not in a Rupert Bell mood. You hope you're, you're, are you happy this morning? Yeah, I'm always happy. Lovely, Moose. That's exactly what I'd like to hear. Now, give us, your views. give us your views, my friend, on Raheem Sterling. Right. First of all, uh, I, I mean, this is a view which I've put before, before, so it's nothing new, is I don't like tattoos. I don't have a tattoo. I don't like tattoos. I don't understand why people go around and get tattoos all over their body. I don't think it looks great. I don't, I don't care if you have a little flower, a little dolphin on your backside. I don't care whether or not. No, no, I don't. I don't understand. I don't, I, I don't understand pe Moose, people. You can, have, well, you'd you never picture hey, a pork pie on your Moose, body. By the way, no. No, nowadays you can get a blue whale on my backside. Never mean a I dolphin, don't, mate. I don't, I don't care if you get a blue whale or a herd of elephants on your backside. I'm really not. I'm really not bothered. You know, people people have tattoos on their arms and their children. Sorry, you can't remember your children's names without having a tattoo there. And I mean, I met someone the other day. I met someone the other day. 
right? Who had their wedding anniversary, the date of their wedding. I mean, <laughs> sorry, when was that anything to celebrate, man? Anyway, right, enough of that, right? So, so here we go. So, so here we go. Raheem Sterling decides, I t- tell you what, right? I'm going to have, along the, the side of my leg, a massive, great, big tattoo of a gun. Mm. One, one, like Cass, if you're that, uh, apparently he says it's, it's a tribute to his father who was shot. Mm. Well, well, wow, what a tribute. Thanks very much. I mean, you know, why not have a tribute of your father of maybe your father, his name, his face, something like that? Oh, no, I'll tell you what, he was shot. I'll have a tribute of a gun on my leg. He said Secondly, it's not finished yet, Moose. Carry, not finished yet. Carry the tattoo's on, not I, finished. I, 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 Moose, carry on, uh, mate. I can't get enough of you this morning. Carry on. Right. Secondly, 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 does he not look at the papers? Does he not see the news? Does he not hear around the world people being shot? I mean, how many people in London lose their lives all the time? How many people in America have been shot and the gun lobby want people not to carry guns? I tell you what, he's not a role model. I don't think football should be role models. But, uh, you know, somebody who's, who's in the public eye, I tell you what, I'll have a picture for Rosie a gun all mm. right down my legs. So okay. Every time you see me play football. No, it's wrong, Tony. No, 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 I'm not. But, I, I, Moose, I understand where you're coming from, but I think you always have to give a young lad a benefit of the doubt of, no, look, you make no, mistakes. No, 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 no you do, that. Moose. I mean, you might not have made any mistakes argument. in your life, but many people do. Okay? No, and he might regret, he, he might regret, I'm sure, long term, he'll regret having a gun of a, on a tattoo on his leg. I'm sure. Um, yeah, and you can't get rid of it. Well, of course you can. You, you can get rid of tattoos now. Surely there's an argument that it's his body he's entitled to do what he wants with it. Within reason. Okay, fine. So why doesn't he go and say, say to a sponsor, right, any sponsor, okay, for, for a million pounds this year, you can have, I, I have your name and your badge and your thing tattooed all over my, my arms. And my, I mean, I, I can't stand it when I play it when a player... Get, you know, end, ends up taking, you know, getting a, a free kick and scoring, and takes off his shirt, and you see completely plastered down his arms and his chest and everything. You know, different tattoos. I don't understand why why people have tattoos. I'm, I'm, I've never found them attractive. I've never found them particularly, um, you know, something which I, I would want to look at. And I think now we're going into a stage where we're not only having sort of, you know, the Rose of England or sort of, you know, some sort of Symbol. face on yeah. symbol yeah now we ha- now we've got a gun what are we going to have next right well here's, what are we going to have here's next? my question to you moose um so i'm guessing you think a lot of this cr- criticism is justified right i get that absolutely um is the is it a case of perhaps it's easy to criticize raheem Sterling again or no if- i don't think no. no i'm not i'm not jumping on that. listen i don't care if it had been Raheem Sterling with, with this tattoo, if it had been Jordan Pickford with this tattoo, or if it had been Harry Kane. Not that Harry Kane would, but as far as I know, Harry Kane hasn't got a tattoo, <laughs> right? I don't actually care which member of the England team, but it does seem that some people do like to court controversy and do like to put themselves in a position where they can be uh, had a pop at. And maybe this isn't the first time that this particular England footballer has done that. I'm not having a go at him because he's Raheem Sterling. I'm having a go at him because he's been stupid enough to have a tattoo of a, of a gun all the way up his leg. I think it's pathetic. I think I think it's incendiary. I actually think somebody should have taken him to one side and gone, do you know what? I get you want to have a tattoo remembering your dad or honouring your dad. Let's think of a way of doing it better than having a gun all the way up your leg. Well, Wonderful, that- Moose. You have made your views... <laughs> Crystal clear this morning on Raheem Sterling's tattoo, Paul. Thank you very much for your time this morning.